this little tiny motor here. So this is a 3 volts volt motor and it has a warm gear, warm gear that uh, lock into this uh, tiny um, gear down there and then rotate this tire so this car will be basically it's the truck here the little, this little truck here like that and then there are two wheels sitting in the back here like that you know this is a, a you know mimicking a an 18 wheeler so supposedly when I press this uh, button then the 3 volts uh, battery the 2 AA batteries will translate the voltage to the motor and then push forward this truck and then when I push this backwards and then this this truck is supposed to go backwards you know but um, Right now, for whatever reason, you can see the motor is not uh, turning, so the car is not moving, and um, you know, so I'm troubleshooting this. I think the three volts are coming out of here, but somewhere in this line, there is a uh, short or brokenness. That's why I'm not getting the three volts here. I'll show you. you Turn this dial to 20. And then I'm supposed to see 3 volts. Okay. See when I touch these two screws? See that? That's clearly 3 volts. 3.13 volts. Beyond these two. So, when I press down this and this, you can see 3 volts as well. You know, so let's come to here. Because uh, these are the terminals that lead to the wire. The next thing I want to do is... Uh, yeah, so this is, the, this is the terminal to the wire. And this is the other terminal to the other end of the wire. So when I press down the switch... Ooh. There's no bolts. How about here? There's no votes. Ooh. What's up here? Maybe this is the culprit. Maybe I need to. We do this again. And then press this down. Here's the three votes. Press this down, there's the three bolts. Press this down. This is the three bolts. You know, so it's telling me when I press these down, the three bolts coming out of this. Uh, these wires but they're not coming to the motors here yeah that's why the motor is not turning and you can see this this connection here it's very loose as a matter of fact it's almost going to fall off fall off here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder this one and hopefully do the miracle so I got the solder gun here solder gun. Resolder these two connections. And also solder what's in here. Now you can see this uh, 
motor is uh, live. So let's press uh, going forward. See that? Backwards. Let's go forward. Backwards. So now we got a uh, working. Uh, so yeah, here's the uh, here's the uh, little motor with the warm gear and the gear that tied to the car. So I'm not gonna um, use this motor to um, push this car. I'm gonna apply somehow this warm gear and that gear to apply to my trolling motor. Okay, so, but in any case for now, let's just put it back and um, just, let's uh, have a, a functional truck just for the heck of it, for fun. You know, so that's uh, what that was. Oops. Just for the heck of it, just for the fun. You know, so now we got a functional car here. Let's see. Push forward. Okay. Maybe the cars are not to put in or something. You know, so we need to put all these screws back in. And uh, it's just one of uh, the heck of it. There you go. See that? See that? So that's um, that's um, you know, soldering. Okay, the uh, little tiny truck. You know, but um, what I really want to do is I want to um, utilize this motor this motor here and uh, propel my uh, trolling motor. So this motor may not be big enough. I may need a high torque um, motor, but uh, we'll see. But this at least is a functionable. So all I have to figure out is how to um, tie this warm gear to, to, um, to my trolling motor. See that? Okay, so 